Good morning, folks. It is the first morning of deer archery season 2022 here at a bit of a smaller property and going to be trying out my new toy. I got a crossbow. It's a new one for me, but thought I'd try it out. Got a center point amped 425. Looking forward to trying that out. About to go out to the blind. Let's see what we can do. Y'all stick around. Whew, shot fired on a doe. Looked like a good hit, nice and solid. She ran off in a good direction. So, man, first, first time I've pulled the trigger on an animal with my new crossbow, that felt pretty good. So, I'm gonna give her a little while. I'm gonna go down there in a little bit and check for my arrow and for blood. I have a feeling we're gonna find her here pretty quick and pretty close. So, stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there we go. My first deer with my crossbow. That uh, center point amp did really, really well. It blew through both shoulders very easily. Nice, clean shot. Nice, accurate shot. I'm really, really pleased with that. This is a nice, mature doe. Just going to provide some awesome meat for my family, and I'm really pleased with that. This has been an awesome opening morning of bow season for deer and obviously very successful so man good start to the season now I went with the center point amped 425 crossbow this is a sub $500 crossbow you can pick up at Cabela's or a lot of the online retailers and what drew me to this one other than the price, was some of the features. Now this one has a nice illuminated four power scope. 
It's got a detachable quiver and it's substantial. It's not super lightweight, but it's not enormously heavy. It's got an adjustable stock, which I really like, kind of an AR style stock. It's got a nice hand grip here on the bottom. And what I like about that is that it's got these plastic plates here that protect your fingers. You can't put your fingers above the level where it may get hit by the string, which could be catastrophic to your hunt. So one of the biggest things I really liked about it was this adjustable tow hook. So you can use that if you're using the rope cocker to put your boot in there, but you can also put it at different positions and you can use it as a bipod, which is really awesome and works really well. When I was sighting this in, I was laying prone, using it to sight in there, it was perfect. So I really like that feature of being able to flip that up and down and even back and out of the way if you're gonna be carrying it around. So some neat features in a relatively inexpensive crossbow. You got the 425 foot per second speed, which is really fast. I've shot crossbows in the past. I've come from compound bows that are shooting maybe around 300 to 350 feet per second. 425 is super quick and it packs a lot of punch. The doe I shot this morning, it blew through both shoulders and didn't even blink an eye. I found the arrow about 15 yards away, stuck in the ground in the exact trajectory from which I shot. And that was pretty cool. So. Overall, cool little bow so far. I have got it all sighted in. Obviously, I've done a hunt with it, and I think it's going to do pretty well. You know, coming from the crossbow, sorry, coming from the archery, more traditional compound bow and recurve bow, this is my first crossbow that I've owned, and I think it's going to be kind of fun. You know, I kind of mix it up. I like the idea that I can have this ready to shoot. I don't have to worry about drawing back when an animal's in sight and spooking them. I'm more, I can be more confident in how I shoot and where I'm hitting on that animal, especially if they're not already spooky by me already pulling back a bow. This thing's ready to go, ready to shoot. And I think it's gonna be a really good tool to have in my safe. Now, one of the big selling features for me was the fact that this one came with a cranking cocking device. Um, it also comes with a rope pull cocking device, but this silent crank is really cool. It is, as the name implies, silent. It locks, so you can pull it back some and let go, and it's not gonna whack you in the hand. You can't use it to decock it, but you can use it to kind of pull it back. And if you need to readjust, then you can use it to push it back. But really, really nice feature for something in this price range to be able to cock the bow silently in the field without a whole lot of effort. So really dig this feature. And overall, so far, I'm really liking this crossbow. So again, center point amp 425. Get it at Cabela's, other retailers. I will put a link to it up in the description and uh, check it out.
And there we go. That was a great opening weekend for the 2022 deer season. Nice to have some meat for the table. I really like my new crossbow. And of course, it's always great to be out. I like hunting with my dad. I like being out in nature, watching the animals move around. And it's uh, just a really great time being out there. And I appreciate you following along. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.